I believe that your mind is your most important asset. And the minds of students today is our world's most important asset. By the time students are past middle school, only 30% of students are proficient in math. Oh, class. Oh, yeah. It's not the students who are not capable of learning, it's the environment. I struggled in school. I'm dyslexic, and most all of school is taught through language. My dad would say, here's what the problem's asking you. And so he would draw a picture. And then through a picture, it's just evident what the problem is. That was a big breakthrough for me, and I started to gain a better appreciation for actually how fun mathematical problem solving can be. What started off just a summer research project has turned into a multi-decade pursuit on how do you create a scalable solution so that students can build mathematical reasoning and problem solving. If all this comes back, so the question is how do you aggregate? The main idea was to create a way of teaching math that didn't require any language. It took almost a decade to come to the conclusion of, yes, it is possible. We need that little piece on how to get them to be able to think. In the early days, one of the goals was to try to make as much learning happen in a short amount of time as possible. And that turned out to be problematic. Well, if they filled this in... That understanding was very shallow. What we found is you actually want to make learning harder. Students have to struggle through the problem. I think one of the key insights is that it's not enough to just do a research program. If you want to change the world, you have to make a solution that is scalable, that you can put into students' hands all across the nation and get results. There's no better way to get some of these things accomplished outside of technology. So if you can go ahead and open up your computers. One of our core programs is STMath software. And find that prime factorization game. At first, there are no words. And back out of the multiples game. Students are confronted with a puzzle, and the goal is to get this penguin, GG, cross an obstacle. The trick is informative feedback in real time. If you show the student why that particular attempt didn't work, you can guide their understanding. And because it needs to be instant, this is really only achievable through technology. Anybody remember what kind of number 17 is? So what do you notice? A regular math class, they'll just teach you the basics, but in GG, they'll try to push you. Math is much more than just calculations. It's reasoning and problem solving. 18 cubic units. All students should have the basic foundation of mathematics, and we want more than that. We want them to think creatively. We want them to go out and solve really challenging problems and not be afraid to change the world.